to the cousins. Even Marty, the degenerate, who's an alcoholic by 12. Uncle Donald, he hands me this shiny wee box. He's going on and on. Open it, boy, open it. You'll love the surprise. Thing is, I already know that it's a major Howl action figure. I was a nosy bastard. So, I open it up. I look right at my uncle and act surprised. He sees right through me. <laughs> right? Out of nowhere, Uncle Donnie grabs Major Howell and he kicks him out the goddamn door! Oh, shit! Room goes dead quiet. Uncle Donnie just trucks. He's got to surprise the boy on his birthday. <laughs> Was there a point to your story? Surprises. They fill me with dread and anxiety. Getting booby out there, team. Might want to buckle in. What the hell? Scratch that. Strap your shoots on. I ain't stopping on the island, but the storm might have other plans. Off to a promising start, eh? another day. This is Mac. Anyone else make it? Hello? Hey, what's that? A beacon? Could be the others. Should try to find the source. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, God, saving my life by kicking me out the bloody plane. Oh! Crash a jungle gasket to me. I got bigger things planned. Survive. One for the history books, eh, Chuckles? Chuckles? You were the only one who laughed at my story. <laughs> Fair enough. Good. More survivors. Lieutenant Kalisa reporting for duty, sir. Thanks for waiting. I appreciate it. We're patient people, Chuckles and I. <laughs> the team's back together. Now what? You all follow the beacon, right? To find a way up to it. Huh? 
Come on, I'll get you up there. Find a way across. Hey, that tree looks unstable. Okay, but how do we knock it down? This might be a way through. Mighty dark, though. Scared of the dark? Let me handle it, kid. I I'm not... <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Just need a moment. That dead tree's caught on some vines. Heads up! That'll do then. Come on, let's go. Bit of a ways down, huh? Don't tell me you're afraid of heights, too. After what we've been through, can you blame me? This looks like the way through here. So, either you know our destination before we left? They didn't tell me shit. All I know is there was ocean beneath us a long time. that radio ASAP. Well, that is what fucked up, Lynn. There's no way that radio is operational. We need to eliminate it as an option before we move on to another plan. Come on! Grandmother left the Columbia Islands when she was young. But, photos. It's from this place. Hell of a way to reconnect with her roots. Now we're talking. My dad always told me I was lucky. Lucky as a locust in a long pants, he'd say. So that's why you were picked for the mission. Stack up. You can never be too prepared for what's coming. more by the minute. You were saying something about luck, boy? Hey, we're safe, right? Look, some more supplies. I told you, lucky. Fuck! A clock! 
Ah, I stand corrected. How the hell did the swarm get to an island? Sign of the times, old man. The entire world is infected with them. Keep pushing through. Gotta get out of this swamp. Taught me to shoot. Ah, you'd have liked it, I think. You're quite similar. Soldier? Asshole. To the plan. Find the wreck. Find the radio. Gotta be a way to clear somewhere. Great. Locked. We need to look around. There'll be another way to get to that end. All right. Got a way through. Little help here. like the tail end. Any luck? Cockpit and radio is up ahead. Hey, lucky. Remember? <laughs> uh. 
This... this feels dangerous. Keep moving. We'll be fine. Grab. That could have been me. Thanks for dick kicking me out of the plane, Grabs. Happy to oblige. Ready to block him. <laughs> Cockpit's on the other side. Little help? Ah, oh, damn it. Guess the radio's not here. The entire cockpit ain't here, Grabs. So what's the plan if we find that precious radio smashed to pieces? There's a good chance that whoever organized this operation is well aware of what's happened. Might take a while. They'll send someone. But if they died in a crash as well... Find that radio. This thing is absolutely destroyed. Nice spot to build a shelter, though, as we settle down into our new lives here on Hell Island. Hey, you still there? Feeling that Tack isn't the only one we signal. Doobie's incoming! Looks like we're gonna have to earn that ride home. Here they come! Don't let them flank us! They're the only ones that heard us. Thank you. 
Here's the results. Right. Sorry to be late and all. We survived a horrific condor crash, fought an endless horde of monsters from hell, and barely escaped with our lives. But uh, how's your day been? Well, it's about goddamn time. Holy shit. What? Show some respect. It's Colonel Victor Hoffman. It's an honor, sir. A real hell of an honor. Shared sentiment, soldier? That's why you're here. Best of the best. This here's Hannah Colt. She's my number one on this covert operation. 
She knows a lot about science things and uh, is, uh, well, in, in general, quite pleasant to be around. Advanced degrees in biochemistry, toxicology, chemistry, and science things. Thanks, Hoff. Anyway, good to finally meet you. What kind of operation is this? Hannah? Now, what we're looking at is a schematic of the Pahanu Cog Bunker, designation Sanctum. It never served its true purpose, instead becoming a burial site at the end of the Locust War. And now, well, it's a full-blown swarm hive. I need you to infiltrate and plant a chemical bomb at its heart so we can kill them from the inside out. It's a high-risk mission. But if we get this right, we can wipe out those bastards and use what we've learned to save the entire goddamn planet. Now, I've made promises to the COG. And through my people on the mainland, I've made promises to you. Complete the objective, and I will deliver. Questions? Whatever the mission, sir, we're in. What? He's the hell out of retirement. <laughs> well then, what are we waiting for? initiated by Special Operations Officer Corporal Jeremiah Keegan. Welcome to Sanctum. Wait, Corporal? I outrank you? Yeah, long story. All right, guys, now that we have access to Sanctum, I'm officially initiating our operation. Control has assigned your team designation as Scorpio. Copy that, Hannah. Scorpio moving in. must report in with our Sanctum security officers. Please proceed to the waiting area in an orderly fashion. Security officers? Gotta make sure the right people get in. What exactly does the right people mean? Sanctum was meant to protect the most important COG citizens. Scholars, politicians, celebrities. And which category did you fit in, Gramps? None of the above. The goon working for important people. are required to undergo decontamination protocol before entering the facility. Please step into a chamber to begin. Initiating decontamination. You'd think with how bad the COG was losing the war, they'd be willing to take in any poor soul that survived. Still need to follow protocol. Protocol my ass. <laughs> Decontamination complete. Proceed to the briefing room for further instruction. This is my kind of sanctuary. It's engineered, has a system. It's an order to it. Real confidence. This is where new arrivals would have been processed. After proper clearance, of course. 
I should be able to get the system online. Just need a second here. That should do it. Activating Sanctum Core Systems. Stand by. So, what happened to you? The volcano powering the thermal generators? <clears throat> Ended up being too unstable. The whole place was deemed uninhabitable. So, after the war, they turned it into a locust burial site. Warning. Biological threat detected. Something's trying to get through. Defensive positions! Oh. Retax! Looks like we found your robot, Anna. Anna covered in swarm shit! Damn it! We sent GDs into the ventilation system, and then... Never heard back. Clear! Swarm infected DBs. There's no end to the cog's shite to clean up. Welcome to my life, kid. Similar minds. Yes, me? First Minister Jin's always been a bit too eager to use robots to solve her problems. My opinion? Find a plot of land far from all cog civilization. You'd be surprised how much better. Ah, someone installed the fuse wrong way round. Ha! Ah, got it! a metal tomb buried in volcanic rock. Never said ideal. Ain't no luxury in hard times. That kind of living, safe and secure, is a bit- This, I can't fix. <laughs> Think outside the fuse box, kid. <sighs> Imagine living buried down here for the rest of your life. I'd rather die in the sunshine than in the cloud. Give me that support of these spaces. A good friend. A bottle of whiskey. That's the way I want to go. Whiskey can be a friend. The hell was that? Just seismic activity from the volcano. Oh, is it, is it just a volcano? That's another brilliant cog idea, isn't it? Throw the last of humanity into a fucking volcano. Anyway... Elevators are on the far side of the main hub. Ha! 
Hannah, we've got an infestation coming up into the hub from below. Damn. The hive is growing faster than we predicted. Looks like the infestation has affected the elevators. Oh, is this weak gas bomb going to do the job? Yes. Yes, of course. As long as you deliver the bomb to the center of the hive, it should work. Should work? Enough. Let's get down there. Only 18 more levels to go. What's our best route, Hannah? Find the here. Oh, and avoid the elevator. Out of range. Wonderful. This is the only way out. Let's go. Should be another access console somewhere. The console looks offline. I'll give it a try. No good. Have you tried turning it off and on again? Can we please take this seriously? I'll take a look. So I was thinking, why don't we just drop the bomb down the shaft? Looks like it goes all the way to the bottom. Absolutely not. You heard, Hannah. We deploy the payload to the center of the hive. That's the mission. Access granted. Opening maintenance wing. Didn't we want thermal control? Huh. That's Here they come. <laughs>
the last of them. You want to open the correct door now? Well, if I wired it right, and I did, both doors should have opened. Access granted. Open the thermal control. Oh, look at that. Just needed some time to think. Snipers! Oh, you're kidding me! God damn it's out in here. We are in a volcano! Oh, and the actual jets of fire would do it! Come on! There's gotta be a way through. One of us needs to flank their position. Ugh. Okay, now for that turn. Just think of it as the most insane delivery ever. Shields are ready. <clears throat> Get behind me.
climate stabilization. It's broken. Ventilation station temperature temporarily stabilized. All personnel vacate immediately. I think we should take her advice. The hell was Hoffman thinking he sent just three people down here? We need a goddamn army. I'm sick of your complaints. There's a door ahead, and we're going through it. Stabilizing temperature. Oh, stupid thing. Shield shot. Down here. For what? You're afraid of dying? You should have thought of that before you took this on. Oh, believe me, I'm ready to die. But I want it to count. You got some sort of death wish. Not a death wish, Lonnie. But when the dust... Enough! We will fight our way inch by fucking inch if that's what it takes. We all took this mission to make a difference. And we have our orders, outsider. Now. Let's make it count. Look, old man. All I know is I want our sacrifice to matter. Take a look around. We have to face the facts. The way things are going, this will all be for nothing. So, Lonnie, we almost there. Not even close. Uh, we made it this far. We'll find another way down. <laughs> Goddamn cog. Just can't admit defeat, can you? I'm done taking shit from you, boy. <laughs> to hell with the objective. The hell you doing? Making it count, brother. Deadly toxin detected. All personnel must vacate safe. Don't stop. Take care of them. It'll kill us too. Keep moving. Oh, no more shields.
for this toxic fucking gas! You detonated the payload? How did you get down there so fast? We did What? Uh, I see. Is it working? The gas? He's working on everything! Including us! Alright, get to the surface ASAP for extraction. I'll go talk to Hawk. Copy! <coughs>
What do we have here, then? Hey, little help? <laughs> Let me give you a hand here. More precisely, a grenade. Clear! Nice! We're clear! Old Max saves the day again! Please hold your applause. They're still riding a goddamn door down a river of lava, thanks to you. Correction, riding a goddamn door down a river of lava, alive, thanks to me. Do it! We got a scion! Watch those hunters! Another tree! Brace for impact! What now? We hold these bastards off until that tree burns through! See, Lonnie's the kind of person with great plans. Simple, to the point, effective. Do you ever shut up? You two gonna stop bickering long enough to help me out?
much longer that goddamn tree gonna hold out. Okay, new plan. Shoot through the roof. Important. Keep firing at it. Just a little more. was a failure. Not if we uncovered new data. Anything? The drones, Juvies, roasted them. Heavier swarm. We didn't have the punch we needed. You got anything stronger? Mm. Something that can sink the entire island, maybe. Or how about a few canisters of that nightmare acid that killed all them bastards on the beach, eh? Damn. You might be onto something. I was joking. Even if that could work, there's a problem. We don't know what's responsible for the attack or where to find it. Why, Leahy. My gran used to tell me stories about her people. How the young men and women would travel the ocean to face a god. It was their rite of passage. If anyone knows something about what we saw on the beach, it's my grandmother's people. Well, go then. Make contact. See what you can learn. Hannah. You prep for field work. I want you there to ask the right questions. I'm on it. Let's go, Scorpio. Whatever attacked the swarm of Connie, we can combine it with the toxin I was set from New Hope. Hopefully, someone here can fill us in on what exactly that acid is and how to get it. We still have to find a better way to the heart of the hive. Yep, I'm working on a solution to that too. Through here, come on. Even with all the stories and memories she shared, Grant never told me why she left. Any of your family still live here? Distant relatives, I'm sure. I guess I should introduce myself. Feels like an odd way to reconnect, you know? Marching in, middle of the night. Oh, I'm sure we'll be given a warm welcome. Not every day a band of armed soldiers wanders into town. Well, hopefully they'll be understanding given our rather dire circumstances. Is that music? Sounds like quite a party. 
Everyone must be gathered in that hole over there. Couldn't think of a better way to make our entrance. Come on, then. You can't just barge in. They're at the hall, right? And we are trying to get there. So, Hannah, been meaning to ask. You any relation to the coal train? Right. Because every coal is related to Augustus. Sorry. Was just curious, is all. <laughs> Getting the sense you hear that question more than you'd like to. No, it's okay. I like my dad. I mean, yes. He's my dad. Just please, please don't ask me about Thrash Mob. I find it tedious. Augustus Cole. You know I saw him play. That is what I remember. Man to pleasure. True definition of a cog frontline hero. Yeah, you're not wrong, Keegan. That's what everyone sees in my father. I want to be just like him. A lot of people find it hard to believe, but at home, the coal train is a quiet man. His introspection about the war kept me far from the military. He wanted more from me. That's what I fought for, baby. Dad said, one serum in education could do more to turn the tide of war than a single grip of a gun ever could. You mentioned your degrees back when we first met. That's, uh, that's a lot to know for a kid. <laughs> yeah. Mom was always buying me books. Books for my birthday, books for special holidays. All right. Let's hope there's someone in here willing to help. Well, that all depends on how long their party's been going on. Oh no! Everyone's gone. God damn it. Looks like this ain't a diplomatic mission anymore. Can someone turn off that damn radio? Hey, Lonnie. Take a look at this. All this imagery around a creature of some kind. Can you read the language? It's been a long time since Gran taught me why Lehan. But I can try. This scroll references the Awakening. It's the rite of passage she talked about. Listen. The mantle. A terror stalks and desires to consume. Let it be your burden. Let it not feed. The journey. Our ancestors carry you across the world. Their spirits guide and watch over you. The spirit walk. Enter the Fade and journey amongst the ancestors. The path of our people will reveal your burden. The fear. Awaken. Reborn. Renewed, not consumed. Your heavy burden, transformed. Light as the feather. Face the creature. Ha! Huh. Looks like a big fucking bird. A bird? Feathers. Huh? Gran would tell me stories about the Wakatu. A flying demon that all children must face as a rite of passage. Are you suggesting that thing at the beach? Yes, the Wakatu isn't mythology. It's real. That's it. We track this Wakatu down and get a sample of its poison. Hey, after we figure out what's going on here. We'll find the villagers. Come on, Scorpio. Could be further into the village. Through here. Snipers. Shit. How the hell did those bastards get here? Huh. 
How are we gonna handle this? We kill the swarm. Every last one of them. Oh, enough crawling around! Take him apart! I'm right behind you, Mac! of the villages. Where'd they go? They have more use for us alive, buddy. Those any pods here, though, they'd take them somewhere. A defensible structure. That temple up on the ridge. We can still save them. Let's go. I hope we're not too late. You doing okay, Hannah? Oh. Yeah, yeah. I'm good. We've got your back. That's right. Thanks, guys. There are stories of people who survived being snatched and potty. But we need to be prepared for the reality that those chances are often slim. I'm not giving up on them. Let's get to the temple.
Even the locusts couldn't throw between the islands. That's why Sanctum was built on Tohanu. How did they get to Alehi? Just through this door. We still got time to save them. Look. In the tree. We collected feathers from the Wakatu and brought them here. No pods though. No bodies. coming from the feathers. It seems to have some kind of psychological effect. Makes you hear stuff, right? Stuff you'd rather not think about. Yeah. Yeah. But this incense, it's negating the toxic effects. We saw the same incense in the ritual room, back on Pahani when we first landed. This proves that we can find the Waka- Let's move. Get the door. One day too late. One day makes all the difference. They're gone. We couldn't save them. So, what the hell are we going to do about it? Make the fuckers pay! Now we're on the same page, sister. is going to be rolling over Hoffman at full speed if he hears about this little outing. God damn. Look what we've got here. A silverback. I think we can put that wee death machine to good use, eh, Scorpio? Supplies are ready. Power source is disconnected. You got this, Mac. Shield charge! Finally, something I'm good at! 
time to rain down hell! You bastards! We need to finish the goddamn lot of ya! Give him hell, Scorpio! Shoot me! I'm a fucking copper! Every inch of ground we take back. Definitely. <laughs> Saved a few of them, but even one. They destroyed this place. All its history, its people. God damn swarm. We're gonna visit the same fate on their entire species. I still don't understand how they got here from Pahanu. Looks like we found an answer, Hannah. The lava tubes. This is how they got here. Lava tubes? Then maybe they're connecting the islands. Hannah, above you! Nothing I can't handle. Oh. 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 
them, changed them. They wanted to change me too, Keegan. It's okay. We're safe now. Keegan, still got that flare gun? 
We need a stretcher. Copy that. Hang tight. On my way. Where... <coughs> Where are we? All the way back on Pahanu. The heart of the hive. Oh, wow. Got the shield! We got swarm coming! Hannah, stay low! who survived being snatched. Uh, yeah. The stories are true, huh? Still there, Scorpio? Stretcher incoming! <sighs> Sorry I got caught. Mess us all up. <sighs> She's on, Tech! Take her up! Hey, you made it out. That's all that matters. It'll take me a bit to secure the stretcher. You guys good for a few? We'll manage. Thank goodness. Honestly, I can't believe she survived. But she did survive. What's on your mind? The Snatcher was taking Hara to the heart of the Hive. And we need a more efficient way to get there. Oh, no. You're not suggesting we let them capture us. <laughs> Hold that thought! Swarm's here! and her action science might have an answer for that. Hell, it might work. It's smuggled into the heart of the hive. Got it! But we still gotta get out of here first! More swarm on the ridge!
Katsu made quick work of the swarm. I feel good about Hana's toxin plan. If we can manage to catch that thing. I'm not sure we can do it alone. Agreed. Now's the time to ask Hoffman to bring in some reinforcements. Keegan, this is not a cog mission. What? What the hell are you talking about? Hoffman's gone rogue. It's just us. Well, Hoffman is a decorated cog veteran. Aye, but just think for a second. The access codes to Saitam. If Hoffman's working with the cog, why couldn't he just get those codes himself? You're out of your mind, Mac. Why would Hoffman lie to us? Hoffman's used to doing whatever it takes to get the job done. Oh shit! This way! And another thing! If this was a legit operation, why would everything be so goddamn secret? When we got here, we had no clue where we were going! Mech! Not the time! Knew we couldn't shake it for long. Minister rejected my plan to deal with the swarm. She said her damn robots could handle them. So I used my forced retirement to uh, launch a mission of my own. All this time, we were on a goddamn rogue operation? That's right. Look, I know your past. That you've all suffered and struggled, but you've still got that fight in you. Purpose. That's why we're here. It was our lives on the line. The fate of the entire planet is on the line, soldier. I'm not here to save the world. The swarm took my son. Dragged him. Screaming into the dark. I failed to protect him. To fight for him. I joined up to make these fuckers pay. And I planned to die doing it. But here we are. So, to hell with it. I'll live. And I'll fight for what family I have left. I won't stand by and watch more people suffer. Not when I can do something about it. We know how to get to the heart of the hive. All I need is one sample. And you'll get it. But I won't let my brother face this one alone. Wish I could have been there for you, Mac. And your son. But I'm here now. Well, that's it then. Once more into the screaming dark. Get up. 
for a reason, sir. We'll get the job done. You guys ready to walk amongst the ancestors? Hey, the spirit walk, right? So you were listening. Of course I was. Right back to where it's all begun. Like my ancestors have done for generations. Enter the Fade and walk amongst the ancestors. The path of our people will reveal your burden. There's our path. I'll be damned. I'm living out what my parents and grand used to believe was mythology, just stories. I was in prison when Gran passed. I wish she could see me now. It's none of my business. But... It's okay. We're squad now. You both should know. I fucked up. Deliberately ignored an order. Thought I knew better than everyone else, and someone got killed. Nicio, a good man. The truth is, as much as I want to go back, I don't know if there's a spot waiting for me. I know that feeling. Sometimes there ain't no going back. And I'm learning that might be okay. <coughs> wow, what's this? Some kind of effigy. My father used to carve pieces like it from wood. Said they would protect us from dark spirits. Being back in the action, having a team at my side, I've missed this feeling of being part of something bigger. I know that feeling, too. Come on, through here. Your old job. Still, uh, classified? No, I can still. I was part of the Brash Brigade. Locust cleanup crew. Cleanup crew? Some of the locusts survived the war. We made them disappear. Why? So, the emulsion countermeasure in the Zora. As far as the public knows, the war ended there. Where are they going? <laughs> Come <laughs> on. 
bodies have worn out their work. So, Corporal. Uh, Lieutenant. Never got the long story about your rank. Onyx Guard fought like hell in the war. It would hold up a promotion. After all of us were fighting, I was stationed on Azura, doing basically guard duty. Onyx exiles the cause. No purpose for all those years. I'm sorry, Keegan. I don't know how this rank stuff, but what you're doing here, this matters, brother. Thanks. is ahead through those doors. <laughs> Taking this. Let's push on. Need a hand here. Did you say children used to walk this path? Well, there weren't any swarm back then. Aye, right. Tree there. He was on the carving in the village hall. It must be the Wakatu's nest. Then we're still on the right path. You know, before all this, I really thought my life was over. That I'd live out the rest of my days in prison. So you joined up when Halfman's crony found you, hmm? Exactly. Same here. What else can you do when you've lost everything? Fuck <laughs> 
What's all this debris? Oh, keep a tank. A vulture? Well, that explains the debris back there. A vulture went down on Pahanu? You found 144B. It went down shortly before I arrived on Galangi. It was loaded with the initial DB4 to lead our charges. They're in here to the cog. They ain't friendly! Why the hell are they attacking us? Not a cog mission, remember? Ah. They must be following their default directives for that cog property. Nothing we can handle! Track us incoming! Shield is up! Attacking! Stay! I'll get the door open. Got it! More DBs! Great! Even more unfriendly traitorous cogbots! Threat assessed. Yeah. Got him! Got the audience, too! DBs from that vulture. Stupid bot. Tell me about it. But, but I wouldn't have given for their help when the swarm attacked my village. What happened? A slaughter. Then the terrifying quiet. Even if I wasn't miles from home, I couldn't have stopped it. I wasn't a fighter. You did what you could, Mac, and you lived. If I wasn't such a coward, I would have died with him. Coward? Show me a man sacrificing more than one who's lost their child. I'd follow you into any fight. Thank you. Both of you.
Sounds like one hell of a fight going on down there. Should we take a look? Look at this! They're tearing each other apart! What do you say we help them out? Open fire! <laughs> to the Wakatu tree from here. This river goes right to the tree. We just need a boat. There must be one around here. Taking this. Well then, looks like a boat to me. Lonnie? Yes, this is it. It's been one hell of a journey, that's for sure. I only got this far thanks to your support. Uh, gotta admit, I was wrong about you, Mac. You both were. Well, I had my assumptions about you two as well. Look at us now. Team Scorpio, saving the planet. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, 
hate seeing these monsters overrunning Pahani. Me too. We're making things right. Purging the swarm from the side. Thanks, King. Grand's final words to me were about struggle. Am I suffering to find the true line? The weak or the strong? I wanted to know which I'd be. She said, live and discover for yourself. That's the journey. I think I would have liked your girl. Doesn't matter how hard we tried to run from our past. Everything we did led us here. Let us be decided. A thousand miles from the war. This time I'm gonna make a goddamn difference. I thought that was my chance to prove myself. To the Grash Brigade. To the memory of my CO. My grand was right. He brought me home. Here. And gave me a new family. That goes for all of us. We said, looks like this is it. Fear. The Wakatu wants to swarm off this island as much as we do. We should try to get the sample without killing it. Agreed. Be good to see the natural order restored. But he might have other plans.
reborn, renewed, not consumed. Your heavy burden, transformed. Light as the feather. Put up one hell of a fight. You, uh, think it'll live? Yeah, I do. It's a good day. Everyone survives. you to know. It's your fault, and I'm gonna fucking haunt you. How's your nerves, Major Howe? Oh, to hell with my anxiety. This time, I'm the surprise. See you on the other side. 